Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and me. Um, da -dum -dum. <laughs> we are going to do a canning project today that I've talked about doing the last couple of years. And then people will tell me how awesome it is. So I figured, well, let's try it. I'm going to can some coleslaw. So first thing we need is three cups of sugar. One. So glad you can count. Two. <laughs> Don't do it. Two and a half. <laughs> Three. I just wondered what you would do. <laughs> I always keep it track. There you put that back in the pantry. <laughs> I always keep it track. I was hoping he'd just stop counting, but he didn't. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? We need a third cup of water, and we need a cup and a half of apple cider vinegar. Glad I ordered more of this. And you can turn it on. <laughs> you don't turn the heat on to it. I'll mix it a little bit first. That's what the mix. That's what the heat's for. Oh, I'm put that in the background. I want to mix it first, though. You gotta make sure it's right. mix together. <laughs> and then we need a teaspoon and a half of mustard seed and a teaspoon and a half of celery seed. So I hope everybody's telling the truth. That says, "Oh yeah, canned cottage or canned coleslaw is really good." So I hope you guys are all right. We're going to see. Aren't we? Yeah. He just swept the floor and I just got a bunch of mustard seed everywhere. You what? Nothing. Dump some mustard seed on the floor, on my clean floor. I did. What? Really? I did. <laughs> I surely did. On our clean floor. I see it. All right, so now, <laughs> now we have, you cut up all of your cabbage and your carrots and bell pepper and onion and all that stuff, you, you know, shred it. And then you put two tablespoons of kosher salt on it and let it set for an hour. Then you rinse it really good and this is what you come up with. I used a little bit more carrot because I like it. Orangery, orangery, orange, orangery, yeah. So we're going to fill these jars with coleslaw. And you can go up to the one inch head space. I just think it looks prettier when it's orangey. Don't you think so? Yeah, don't pack it too tight. It I'll says get in it. pack it into one inch head space is what it says. Okay. Mr. Canner. <laughs> We're going to use my steam canner. Maybe I did pack it too tight. I don't know because she said she thought it got five pints, but I'm only on number three right now. And I'm getting running out. Maybe the cabbage was smaller than the other yeah, but we added more carrot, though. <laughs> now this you have to let set for two to four weeks. Yeah, this is going to be not right. Can you hand me a half pint jar? Right over there. Actually, I think if I just pack this in pretty good, I might be able to use it up and not need that. Yeah, I'm not going to need it. Never know what one person's recipe is. So I guess we're not getting five, we're getting three. That's okay. Oops, I still need that. <laughs> I'm going to steal some from this one and put it in there. Is the sugar starting to dissolve? Somewhat. Somewhat? Okay. 
So we're going to let that sugar dissolve. And you're going to have to sweep the floor again, honey. <sighs> they couldn't see that face. But anyways, we're going to let this dissolve and then we'll be right back. All right, so now we're going to fill the jars up to the one inch head space and to bubble it. Hold the bubble as you go along. Hold on. <coughs> that way we'll know if you need to put any more in there or not. Just a little bit more. Please. That's good. Now it's still going to be cold, cold, and cold because that warm stuff, it doesn't get that hot. It will cool right down. Go ahead and keep pouring it in. Um, it will cool right back down with a cold coleslaw. That deep bubble. Deep bubble. Your turn. The mic work. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Your part needs to add a little bit more. Okay. I was ready. You were ready? I was ready. Look at you in your bad soul. So we're going to have three. Look at that, you guys. That looked good. We got enough brine for five. Well, I don't have any more cabbage. One part's right, the other part's wrong. I know, you can put a little bit more in there. How? How's that work? called canning. You never know. I was say, our cabbage could have been a little smaller than hers. Yeah. I mean, it said one head of cabbage, right? Yeah. Could have been one head of cabbage. No, it said one medium one head. head. Well, that might have been a small head, according to her. <laughs> you never know. It could be. Depends on how people... Okay, that's way than one, though. How people... Uh, Prescribe things, you know. Yeah, true. It could I, be that her small, small cabbage was a, a mini cabbage uh -huh. or a mid, mid, mid cabbage. Like a large cabbage is like this, not like this. Oh. Yeah. I guess we never know what somebody's recipe thinks. People think of things different than other people. All right, there you go. So we got three instead of five. That's the point, right? <laughs> that's, that pretty much sums it up, yeah. All that much. talking and you just got... It's still boiled down to the same thing. You got three, but she got five. <laughs> I'm sure it's because her cabbage was bigger than yours. We didn't do anything well, different. Well, two, it could be that um, we shred ours thinner. Oh, that could be too, so it packs quicker. Yeah, it could be. Maybe her shred is a little bit larger. Yeah. Never know. Hard to say. Try <laughs> to fire this thing up. Yep. Fire it up, Big Daddy. On high. Yep. For now. Okay. Now we're going to put this in my steam canner. <sighs> I know I like to do a full load, but, well... There's it not is no, what it is. It is what it is. You gotta put the lid on it. The lid. I just don't want the one. No, the lid. No, the lid. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is, once he puts the lid on there. I'm looking for the steamer. There it is. The name. There's a hole right here in the front. Right here. Once it does a constant stream of steam, then we will start our timer for 15 minutes. So it doesn't have to can for very long. So we'll see. So we're going to get this done and see how it turns out. So there is our coleslaw. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now you got to let it sit for two to four weeks so that it actually can, you know, ingrain that taste. Um, when you pull it out, from what I understand, you just rinse it off and then you add your mayo or whatever else you want to add to it. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Thanks for suggesting it, you guys. I think it's a winner. You guys have a blessed day. We'll see you at supper.